In this video, we'll see an example of using a quadratic model to solve an application problem. Here's the problem. A farmer with 4,000 meters of fencing wants to enclose a rectangular plot that borders on a river. If the farmer does not fence the side along the river, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? It helps in problems like this to try to get a picture of what's going on. So let's draw our river, which is going to look something like this. And then our rectangular fence along the river is going to look like this. So notice that we only have three pieces of fence that we build. We don't build a fence along the river because the problem tells us not to. So one way to think about the dimensions of this fence are that this side, maybe we call this x, call this side y, and then because it's a rectangle, this opposite side would also be x. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to maximize the area. And the area of a rectangle is length times width, so that would be x times y. But when we have two variables, that's actually not very helpful. We don't know what to do with that x times y because there's too many variables in it. So we need to use the other information in the problem. And the other information is that we have 4,000 total meters of fencing. So that means that x plus y plus x has to all add up to 4,000. And that means that if we solve this equation for y by subtracting 2x from both sides, we get that y equals 4,000 minus 2x. And if we take that information and put it into our area function, now our area function only has one variable. So area is x times 4,000 minus 2x, or in other words, 4,000x minus 2x squared. So how do we find where this area is maximized? Well, you might notice that this area is a quadratic function. And if we were to graph this quadratic function, because the coefficient of x squared is negative, it's going to look like an upside-down parabola. It's going to look a little something like that. And so the maximum area is going to happen at the vertex of this parabola. So if we can find the vertex of this quadratic function, then that will tell us how to maximize our area. And as you might remember, the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b divided by 2a. In this case, b is 4,000, the coefficient of x, and a is negative 2, that's the coefficient of x squared, and negative 4,000 divided by, that's negative 4 on the bottom there, that works out to be 1,000. So at x equals 1,000, that's where the vertex of this parabola lives. Now does that answer the question? Let's go back and make sure we know what was being asked of us. It says, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? What we figured out is what x should be to get the maximum area, but we didn't actually figure out the maximum area. So what we need to do is plug that value of x back into the area function and see what that area actually turns out to be. So it's going to be 4,000 times x is now 1,000 minus 2 times 1,000 squared. I'm just plugging this value of x equal to 1,000 in for x in the area function. So when I do that, this works out to be 2 million, and since it was area, the units are going to be square meters. And that's my answer.